percentage goals. And as, every, and, and as a corporate body to be like nothing else on earth. Father, I give them permission to be peculiar, to be strange, blah, 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 that the people might not get it, oh God. and we shall be unique. We shall be worried. We shall never ever be like anything. We are the church of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I Lord, I refuse to modernize the church. I refuse to market the church in the manner of glory. I the good vibe Thank you. 
Apostle, you know when your prayer is on point because even amen can't bring it to an end. It's a good one. Right, our third, our third level of separation. We've separated our faith from the world. We're now looking at how we, we've looked at and prayed about how we separate ourselves out from the church to be ourselves. The last level of separation is found in Hebrews chapter four. And it is verse 12. It's a scripture we know well. It says this, for the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow and able to judge the thoughts and intents of the heart. And this is where the battle is. You know, when the soul supersedes the spirit, we will start to look like everybody else. As long as that continues, we then, we then join ourselves to the world. So we're doing this in reverse order. So, so the, last, the last level of separation, which is done by the word of God, is separation of soul from spirit, so that we have an understanding of which is which, so that we can pray in the spirit without it being tainted by our mind, our will, and our emotions. These are our accurate prayers. I know in one of the Bible studies, one of the, one of the, uh, the ladies mentioned, you know, Praying soulish prayers will get you into trouble. This is no season for praying soulish prayers. This is a season for being as accurate as ever in the spirit realm. But the scripture says it is the word of God that does the separation. It's the word of God that will separate you out from the world. It is the word of God that will separate you out from the church of the foolish tribes. And so what we're going to pray for now is we, we're not going to run from anything. We're going to run to the word of God. I've been challenged of late, you know. Um, what do I pick up first in the morning? Is it this or is it this? The battle is real. Am I, am I reaching for social media or am I reaching for the word of God? And God has been challenging me. Why do you read your Bible? Well, it's... It, it, it's my food it's my bread you know i have to do this daily it's how i live it's how i live mm -hmm. you know how am i going to get by without it it's it's where everything that i need for life is in the word and the lord said to me it's not enough it's not enough this this is me jesus says this is me in word format yes lord Maybe Maybe you oh, like PDF, maybe you like Excel, maybe you like MP4, maybe you want it in video format. This is Jesus in word format. And yes, I must Lord. pick this up and read it because I love him. And I love him in this format. It's not enough to just say, well, this is what we do as Christians. This is our life is in, yeah, our life is in this, but we have to, we have to return to our first love. We have to fall back in love with jesus yes 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 and build that intimacy like it was in the cool of the day when there was nobody around to mess it up just having this to be with jesus because we just love him and want to be with him for no other reason whether he sends us out or not but he's building this intimacy and this love with jesus 
you know what? The bride who entered in was the bride that loved him. This is a love story. And if you read Song of Solomon, it's a beautiful love story, but it's a two-way love story. So we're just in the last, I'm, I'm going to go to 10 past because we, we were late starting. We've got five minutes. We're just going to ask God. We're going to pray. The way that we love God is through the love of God that was shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. So we're going to petition the Holy Spirit and ask him to give us a hunger and a love for Jesus like we have never, ever had before. Amen. Amen. Separation will come. You won't care about Facebook, WhatsApp, email, no nothing, because you just want to be with Jesus. Yes. And that's the place we have to get to, because you know what? When it comes, we will just be with Jesus. You know, when a rapture happens, ain't nobody going to be checking their phones on the way up. Ain't nobody going to be taking any selfies in that moment of transition. It's all about him. All about him. So Amen. It's time, church. Heavenly Father, in the name yes, of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes, Jesus. 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 Jesus.
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle, back to you. Amen. And amen. Thank you so much, brother. And let's just give the Lord a round of applause, church, for wonderful. Amen. 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 And amen. And amen. God bless you so much, man of God, uh, uh, Minister Andy. Thank you so much for, for the powerful guide and direction. And I know for sure, us as a church, uh, us as a global, uh, us as a board of Christ, we'll pick something very important here. And I just pray that uh, let's just go out there and practice the word and become what the word has spoken. Uh, it's one thing to, to listen, to hear, but it's another thing to do. So please, let's go and do the word. And I'm telling you, uh, God will separate you to live a life that God has ordained for you in this end time. Amen. So God bless you so much, man of God. Amen. Um,